Hello. Today I am going to discuss uh, linear vector space in mathematical form. So the linear vector space consists of set of vectors and a set of scalars and some algebraic scalar multiplication vector addition. So these operations are there. So before entering this topic, we need to discuss two important uh, basic definitions. One is a vector addition, and the one is scalar multiplication. So the linear vector space. So first, I am going to discuss with uh, internal composition. Okay, let uh, V be any set. Then the mapping e of uh, v operation v tends to v is said to be internal composition and uh, it is also called vector addition. The example of uh, this vector addition this way. So here this operation generally we can call a vector addition operator it is denoted by plus. So here this set of vectors, here set of vectors v v1 v2 v3 and so on vn so the set of vectors these are the set of vectors so sometimes we can call this a set of vectors so here vn is there right then we can call this one n double Five double six double. If it is there in six, you can call six double five double like this. The next important definition is null composition. Let V and E of V any two non-empty sets, then the mapping E of V operation E of tends to V is said to be the external composition and v over e of also called scalar multiplication so these are the two important uh, definitions one is the uh, vector addition another one is the scalar multiplication here v set of uh, vectors here f is uh, f is a set of uh, scalar Next, we discuss what is vector space. So, let f I mean set up for uh, scalars and some algebraic rules to be filled. The element f will be called scalar. Let v be a non empty set whose elements will be vectors. Then v vector space over the field f if and if only it is follow the following the properties so there is a define the internal composition in v called addition of vectors and denoted by the plus also for the composition v is an abelian group so v and plus uh, so these are follow these rules one is closer property this one is a commutative property and this one is a associative property this is existence of the row and uh, this one is the existence of the symmetry vector alpha plus beta belongs to v for all alpha plus beta belongs to set of uh, uh, vectors 
alpha plus beta equal to beta plus alpha this is commutativity property this one is associativity this one is the existence of the zero and this one is the existence of symmetry vector next there is an external composition in over EF scalar multiplication and uh, denoted by uh, multiplicity so that means for example a and alpha belongs to v for all a, a is here a b c for example uh, f is a f is a set of uh, scalars comma a b c and so on uh, v is a set of uh, vectors alpha gamma beta gamma and so on so here j belongs to f and for all uh, alpha belongs to v in other words v is called uh, closed with respect to the scalar multiplication so the two compositions one is scalar multiplication and another one is vector addition satisfy the basic properties uh, this one is a b c so this is the distributivity with respect to addition right and um, this one is the associativity with respect to multiplication of scalar and this one is the existence of the unitary scalar or uh, existence of the zero scalar with the, I can write like this so zero into alpha equal to um, alpha dot zero equal to zero okay Similarly, this equation existence of the unitary matrices are a unitary scalar i. So, if it is follow rule number uh, one, rule number two, rule number three, which means what we discuss point number one point two point number three and then we call vector space so if it is not follow any one of the uh, these rules then cannot call that a uh, uh, vector space so if and if only it is follow these rules then we can call them vector space